inside Stellar, the network searches for the best exchange rate amongst all the market makers on the network. Hey everybody, in this video of Proof of Make, we take a look at Stellar and Stellar Lumens. So Stellar is a distributed ledger technology and the Stellar Lumen is its native cryptocurrency. Now, the problem that Stellar is solving is it allows a person in country A to send money to a person in country B with very low transaction costs and at an exchange rate that's pretty fair. It's live in production today. It, currently, it supports most major cryptocurrencies and like the top five or six fiat currencies, but they're gonna be adding more. And what the interesting part is they've gotten trusted institutions onto the platform. So they have licensed custodians who are insured and who are holding the Bitcoin, the Ether and other fiat currencies. And it kind of connects your everyday person, whether they're in a developing country, a developed country, a country in between, all of that and make cross-border payments seamless. It's really awesome that they have a decentralized exchange that's usable, that's frictionless and fast. I'm gonna sit down with our CTO, Ty, and let's take a look. All right, so now let's sit down with Ty and take a look at Stellar. So we're looking at Stellar.org. Um, there's a wealth of information here on this part of the site, but what I think we should take a look at first is actually a new decentralized exchange. Ooh, that looks nice. That Stellar launched, yep. Um, and as you can see here at the top, there's Chinese one. Now the interesting part about this is uh, there's Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, and then a lot of other kind of asset-backed coins. So it's we talk, crazy kind of seeing those together. Yeah, no, it's just, yeah, it's just a lot of different kind of assets. You have currencies in here, you have cryptocurrency projects in here, uh, you have all of that. Let me start by showing you my wallet. So you can see I have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Hong Kong dollars. So the, the most interesting part is that these are pegged coins that are pegged to the value of other coins. And so they're like stable coins then? They're stable coins for, yeah, uh, like usually you have a stable coin for like a dollar right. or a euro. Yeah. These are stable coins for like Bitcoin and Ethereum that are pegged to oh, those. Okay. So the issuer is stronghold.co. Now stronghold is backed by IBM and they use a trusted custodian, which is Prime Trust. So if you go to the Stronghold website and you log in, this is actually for institutions. So it'll say your account's not verified yet. So you have to verify your identity. They want you to you know, give all your information, I verify your ID and your tax information. Now, the cool, interesting part about what, what I think Stellar has done is that they have an institutional product right. whereby People do this and they, they can exchange all this stuff on Stronghold. And that's where all like the KYC and email stuff comes in. Yeah, yeah. But right. the decentralized platform has those same assets, but okay. there's no KYC email. Because it's ah, decentralized. Okay. So it's kind of like a trick. Huh. It's like, there's here you go for institutions. Right. And you have a place that needs to verify all the AML, KYC. A custodial service. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then those assets can then, through the Stellar Network, make their way onto a decentralized exchange. Right. So, you know, I could be anybody on here. And you can, yeah, and so they're they're holding the Bitcoin as a custodian. And now actually decentralized exchange. So for example, if you forget your key that's created when you when you when you start with Stellar X, right. then it's lost forever. So mm -hmm. it's you it's client created. Stellar does not have access to my account. Okay. Can't reset my password. Now they can by trying to crack it, right? So if you set a really, really strong password, it just you can't uh, reset. But what they have is like a service whereby if you set a weak password, then they'll try to break it. They'll try to break it into the because they have the encrypted version. Is that kind of like that sounds like incentive to create weak passwords then? Um, it could be um, if you're really afraid that you're going to lose it, right? But it also means that if like Stellar gets hacked or something, then, then somebody you can else lose your stuff, well. right. right? Yeah, yeah. So, but it's you control your credentials, and you, Stellar doesn't even have access to your account. So Stellar can't shut down your account or anything like that. They can stop you from logging into the website, right. but you can still, if you're a programmer, right, you can still access everything. Oh, okay. So it's let's a hybrid then. It's like a hybrid Dex. It's no, it's a Dex. Okay. It's, okay. Is it Dex? It's a Total decentralized Dex. exchange. Right. So let's let's start. I think the best way is let's look at the market, and I'm going to buy Litecoin. All right. So I'm going to buy Stellar Peg. So I'm going to buy Litecoin, the Litecoin token on All the right. Stellar network. So I'm going to go to Uniprice. I can look here at the market and I find a price that I like, right? So I'm going to buy, you know, maybe 0 0.01 as an example or 0 0.1 Litecoin. Click buy Litecoin and this is how fast it is. So three, four, five, six, done, order Ooh, filled. That was quick. And I'm going to my wallet and there's my Litecoin. All right. Boom. And then I can easily then change this back 
um, into XLM. So XLM, what I just bought in, if you look at there, that's their cryptocurrency. So when you hover over, they show you what the price is, right? But they let, you know, uh, so all trades are, are denominated in XLM, which is their native cryptocurrency. So everything's quoted in yeah. their currency. And the fee is always just one XLM. Okay. Which, uh, which means that even if you're doing a really, really large trade, it costs you the same amount as a little trade. So it's not a percentage. So that's really interesting. So it's, huh. so the fees are really, really cheap. Um, you actually earn from holding your, your funds here. So you, there's a, um, you get, you earn interest actually. So I'm earning interest on all the XLM that I that I own. They have a troll box here where you can just chat with people about various things. So you see you have your fiat tethers, right? So you can actually trade the Nigerian Naira. So I'm not actually going to buy that. And that's it. Like and now, so how, right. how do you how do you so get this that? Open, like, this is an open order, so I have to right. wait. Right? Part of my order has been filled. So this is a partially filled order. Could you go to Nigeria and exchange it for cash? And that's the thing. So here's the issuer. All right. And that's these are these are uh, considered anchors. So these okay. are people who are actually able to to do this. You know, you if you become an anchor, and there's there's a process to become an anchor. So you, there's a centralization where you have to be approved right. to become an anchor. But if you pass certain tests, certain things, then you're able to issue. As it should be. I mean, yeah. if you're gonna do that kind of service, you yeah. absolutely should. Be. And you can move things around. So that's pretty cool. So yeah. let, let's take a look. Um, I like to start by looking at their GitHub and talking about Horizon. Ryzen is their kind of their API client. Right. It allows you to connect directly into their distributed ledger and access Stellar core nodes. So the core nodes are there, and you can use that. Um, so it's actually pretty friendly to use. Does it let you spin up a node? Um, yeah. So for that, you're going to use Stellar core. Okay. So core is running a node, and then that's a really interesting part. So this is essentially your Stellar node. All right. Now the thing about this is you're not you're not actually rewarded for running your node. Okay. So there's not like you don't mine Stellar kind of thing. Right, IBM is one of the big operators of a, a, a large stellar node. Okay, and it's more just to keep the obviously the centralized more used to keep the platform secure. Um, and so they, but they have an interesting okay. consensus model that they develop that they built. Um, so as you can see here, this the stellar consensus protocol. So they built this. It was actually a fork from Ripple at first, and then right. they replaced all the code and create their own consensus. That's a look at Stellar. It's a pretty interesting platform. I think the most interesting part is their decentralized exchange. And then kind of looking through their anchor ecosystem. The weirdest part about Stellar to me that I've noticed, and, and this is no, this is not a negative thing about them, but why aren't more people talking about this? I, I feel this feels really, inter really revolutionary. To me. Well, one thing is, um, it's not actually a blockchain, and the, and the and the other piece. So it doesn't have that brand there. So you have other distributed ledgers that aren't actually blockchains that just say they're blockchains. Right. Uh, there's a lot of enterprise solutions that do that. Um, Stellar is very straightforward. If you if you look for the word blockchain on here, you're not going to find it. But it has many of the the features. It, it's definitely a crypto. Uh, the feel, Lumen, that yeah, blockchain feel. Yeah, the Lumen yeah. is a cryptocurrency. Right. And they do have a distributed ledger, so I think this is really good for enterprises. Um, and I'm excited to see how mm -hmm. they expand in in that realm. But yeah, I think more people should be talking about this. It's, it's very yeah. very interesting. I had a chance to sit down and use the Stellar X exchange myself, and I thought I had a really positive experience with it. It's easily one of the, like. I'm. Well, I remember I used it first, and then we talked about it, and I was like, "This is a really nice exchange, but it'd be cool if it was a Dex." And it is a Dex, and that was crazy to me. Like, it doesn't feel like a Dex at all. It just happens to be a Dex. Yeah. So that's uh, that's a look at Stellar. That's Stellar. Would you say Stellar? Stellar. Stellar is Stellar. Stellar is Stellar. Stellar, is stellar.